Hi, good morning, Church on the Ridge. Hey, I'm really happy to um, say happy Friday to you. It's going to be a wonderful day. God is for you. He's not against you. He loves you. He's never had an evil thought towards you. And uh, one of the things that I love about the Word of God is it's, it's always so uh, pertinent to my life. And I hope it is to yours, too. We're uh, in Psalm 27 today. And I'd really encourage you to read the whole psalm. There's only 14 verses in the in the whole chapter, so it's a it's an easy read for you. And you can take these 14 minutes and take one verse a minute, and you've done your whole 14 minutes if you just stop and contemplate on each one of those verses. And I know you'll be encouraged by it. The it, the opening verses say, I, "I will trust in the Lord. Whom shall I fear? When I put my hope in Him, of whom shall I be afraid?" And you go, wow, there's a lot of things to be afraid of in the world, a lot of things to fear, a lot of things to be uh, concerned about. But you read that and you say, hey, put your trust in the Lord. You don't have to fear anything. And I think about that and I go, sometimes, you know, that's easy for you to say, David. Easy for you. You're sitting here writing the Bible down and yeah, that, that's really easy. But how do you do that? You know, okay, I put my trust in you, put my trust in you, put my trust in you. You know, just trying to psych myself up, it, I found that it doesn't work. Trying to trying to muscle my way into it and just, ah, I'm going to do it today. I'm going to trust the Lord. I'm going to trust the Lord. Uh, that doesn't do it for me. But then you come to the very last verse in this chapter in 27, and it says, wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord twice. When it says something twice, boy, you got to pay attention to it. Wait for the Lord. Because the first chapter says, hey, I will trust the Lord. I'll trust the Lord. It says it twice. And then in the end, it says, wait for the Lord twice. Oh, that's the key. Wait on the Lord. And when you wait on him, you'll find all of a sudden your heart is growing stronger and stronger and stronger. You begin to see that he really is in control. You begin to see how much he loves you. And so let me encourage you, wait for the Lord today. Wait 14 minutes. Take that 14 minutes. Read your word. Spend time with him and watch what he does for you. I know this. When you wait for him, your heart will take courage and you will be victorious over your enemies. And there's nothing for you to be afraid of because God is with you. I sure love you, Church of Religion. Let me, let me pray for us. And uh, then I'll hopefully I'll see you uh, this weekend, either online or in person. We have our in-person gathering and we have a, a special treat for you this weekend. So I hope you don't miss it. Really love for you to be with us and experience what uh, God has in store because it really is going to be special. Father, thank you that we can trust in you. God, that we can put our heart and our hope in you. God, that there is uh, there's nothing to be afraid of when our hope is in you. But Father, give me the strength to wait for you to wait on you, to wait in your presence, God, to wait with your word and to talk to you about the problems that I'm facing. And I pray that for my friends today. I ask you, God, that each one of them would have that little sense of spark inside of them that says, God, I will wait for you. God, I will look to you. God, I will seek your heart. I will seek your face. I will, uh, I will draw near to you, Lord. Help us, Father, to do it. And God, that we will walk in victory today in Jesus' name. Hey, have a great day. See you this weekend. And don't forget, I got a special treat for you.